What's up? Welcome to Backend Stuff. I'm Jacob Blitzo. Today we are going to use Guardian.db uh, to refresh a JSON web token of an authorized account. Let's go ahead and just jump right into our project and start using Guardian.db to refresh a token and session. So let's open up our real deal API project. Guardian DB works by hooking into the lifecycle of the Guardian module. So we need one more override function in the Guardian module. So let's go ahead and expand real deal API web auth and let's open up guardian.ex. And if you remember in the last video, we added these three overrides. And now we need to add the on refresh. I'm just gonna make it simple. So go ahead and if you look up Guardian DB on GitHub and we scroll down in the documentation, you're going to see the, the three functions we already have, the after encode and sign, the on verify and on revoke. We wanna grab the on refresh. Let's just go ahead and copy that. And then we can just paste that. We'll paste it in the same spot just for OCD reasons. And there we go. So anytime that we call guardian.refresh, our on refresh is going to get called. We've inserted the guardian.db on refresh, which will revoke the old token and old claims and send us a new token with new claims back. That is all we have to do really to get ready. And now if we just jump over to our account controller, so let's expand controllers here and open up account controller. Let's right in between our sign out and sign in, let's make a new function. And this is going to be called, we're just gonna call it refresh session. So def space refresh underscore session. And this is going to take the construct, just an empty map because we don't need any parameters passed in. Close off those curly braces and parentheses, and then let's open up this function with a do, close it with the end. We can grab the current session token, just like we did in the sign out function. So we're going to do old underscore token equals guardian dot plug dot current token. And we just have to pass in the connection struct. We can actually grab account information and all of this stuff with guardian. So let's set up a case statement. If we do case guardian dot decode and verify, and we're passing in the token we just grabbed from our session, which we called old token. So old underscore token. All right. And then inside this, we have our do and end. And right here, our first statement is going to be, let's see, um, opening curly brace. We're going to get an okay atom back with our claims and then we can close that curly brace and then go ahead and hit that dash greater than we're going to basically grab our account from the claims okay and then we also need our our error case right so let's do a curly brace colon error and then the reason so underscore reason we don't need that struct and then we can just go right like this, um, dash greater than, and then we can raise an error here. So if our decode and verify doesn't work, we want to return an error. It would basically be a not found error, right? So we're going to do raise and then error response dot not found. And we don't have a dot not found. So if we go ahead into our auth directory and go to error response, Let's create one real quick. So let's do def module air response dot not found uh, camel case. And then inside that we're going to do def exception, just like we've done in the past and do message. And we're just going to do quotations, not space found, close those quotations, and then a plug underscore status. And this time a 404 error. And then just save this. Let's go back to our account controller. And now we can raise this this error not found. All right, so if the claims are found, we need to grab our account from them. And how do we do that? Let's do another case statement inside this, the okay claims. If we do case here, and then the condition we wanna check is guardian.resource from claims. And our resource is actually our account. So let's pass in our claims that we got right here back from our decode and verify and now down here our first statement is going to be 
a tuple with, you know, the colon okay message. And then our account, once we have our account, we can then do the guardian refresh and all that good stuff. But before that, let's, let's also take care of our, our error case. And it's going to be just the same as we just did, but inside this case statement. So do a curly brace colon. And then when we have an error and the reason underscore reason, we don't need it. Basically, if our account is not found from pattern matching, we're going to throw a not found error again. So dash greater than, and then we'll just raise our error and that's error response dot not found save it and now if we have our account we need to do a couple things here first we need to refresh our old token so we want to get a new token using guardian dot refresh and then we need to set our account id to the session again because we're refreshing our session so we're assuming we have a valid json token but we're not sure if our session is still active. So we're gonna refresh our session and then we're gonna return our account struct and our new token. All we have to do here is call guardian.refresh and guardian.refresh returns an okay comma and then it is going to return another um, a tuple with our old token and old claims. But we're just going to call this old underscore. We don't need access to it. So that's a tuple. But now we do need access to our new token and our new claims tuple. So inside this, we're going to do another opening curly brace. And now we're going to say new underscore token, comma, and we don't need our new claims. So do underscore new underscore claims, and then close those curly braces off. And now we are going to just set this equal to guardian dot refresh. And then all we have to do here is send in our old token. So old underscore token, and now it's gonna return a new token. And that all we need out of, out of through pattern matching, it will set the old token and old claims to this tuple. And then inside this tuple, we need our new token. So that is why I have the curly brace and the new claims available. So once we have access to our new token, we can just grab the construct and then we want to whoop, return and we're going to do a pipe. And now we want to do a plug dot con dot put session. So put session and then the key is our colon account underscore ID and then Let's just pass in our account object, which we grabbed from the, the, the claims. And so account.id. All right, so we just set a new session and then we can pipe in and we just have to do put status and we'll say that is colon okay. And now all we have to do is call our JSON view with render. So pipe again and now render opening parentheses quotations, and then account underscore token dot JSON. All right, and then we just have to pass in our map, which is account colon, and then our account struct that we just got, and then our new token. So token colon new underscore token. There we go. That's all we have to do to refresh our session. And so we revoke the old token, replace it with a new one, and then we use our account token JSON view to give us our object back and our new token. Now, all we have to do is jump over to our router and let's create an endpoint for this. So let's open up our router.ex. We want it in our protected endpoints. So underneath sign out, let's go ahead and do git quotation uh, forward slash accounts forward slash refresh underscore session is what we'll call it, comma and then account controller comma. And then we just have to call our refresh underscore session function and save it. And now we got to come up here and delete the alias account controller that automatically got put in and save it and our error should disappear. And now all we have to do is test this out. So let's go ahead and open up our dashboard for Docker containers and make sure our database is running. Ours is. Let's open up our terminal and we're going to have to CD into this project. Mine is in documents, develop, BS and then real deal API. And then we just have to do mix space PHX dot server to run our server. And there we go, we're running on port 4000. Let's just uh, open up hopscotch.io. Let's sign in 
with our client too at Real Deal API with our fake underscore password. That gets us a new token, right? So let's copy this token and then let's do it. Get account by ID. Our account ID is still the same because we've been using the same account. But if we go to our auth header, we need to put in our new bear token, bear, and then just copy and paste and then send, we get our account. So now all we have to do is create our refresh session endpoint, right? And I'm just going to duplicate our sign out function and then rename it to refresh session, save it. And now when, let's see, refresh session, let's see, is sign out, don't save. Oh, sign out didn't save either. We just need to delete the buy ID. And then so accounts forward slash refresh underscore session and our body we will not need. And then I'm going to save this. Okay, hopefully that's saved. And now when I hit send, we have an invalid token because nothing's saved, of course. All right, so let's see, refresh session. Okay, sign in. Yes, save that endpoint, refresh session right here, save. Okay, refresh session, doesn't have a body. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's sign in again. So we're signing into account two. All right, we need to grab this token, copy, and then just like before, let's go ahead and get our account with this buy ID, with this same token. All right, and then send, we get our account buy ID, that still works. And now when we come over to refresh session, let's save that, yes. And then for refresh session, we need to put in our this new bear token that we saved. All right, now when I hit refresh, we should get our account back and a brand new token. So I'm gonna hit send. All right, we get our account back and a brand new token. Let's copy this token, control copy. And now if we go back to our get account by ID, we have the old token in here. I'm gonna hit send and it will say invalid token. So the old token is revoked and we got a new token back. So now in the header, in the authorization header, if we do bear and paste the new token I just copied and hit send, we now have access again. So we now have the ability to refresh a session which revokes an old token, gives us a new one, and that old token is no longer usable. So we are now using guardian.db to refresh our JSON web token and return the account associated with the token. It also revokes the old token, only allowing the new refresh token to work now. So that's pretty cool. As always, if you need help or wanna check out the solutions, check out that GitHub link in the description below. And if you have more questions or just wanna hang out and chat, join my Discord server, Backend Stuff. That link is in the description as well. If you wanna learn how to build scalable, production-ready APIs, hit that subscribe button now. See you next time.